Yo, yo, people, Wagwan, welcome back to Run Stack Hub. And I know what you're thinking. This should just be plug and play, but unfortunately, it's not. So I'm going to show you guys how to set everything up from start to finish. Let's go. Step one, you're going to need to have some form of a wired controller that you can plug into your PlayStation 5. I have a Nacon PS4 controller that goes to USB-A at the front. And I also have the PS5 controller, which you can plug in via the USB-C cable or USB-A cable. You have to have a controller that can connect to your PS5 using USB because we're going to turn off Bluetooth. Step two, you're going to plug the controller you have into your PS5. You're going to go to settings. Settings is located at the very top right hand corner of your screen. That's the gear looking icon. You need to then scroll down to where it says accessories. Click on that. Next, you need to click on advanced settings. And finally, you need to turn Bluetooth off. My Bluetooth is currently off because I already did this, but yours is going to be on by default. So you need to turn it off. Next, you're going to plug your B Savior P5 mate into your PS5. The USB port needs to be plugged into the top part of the P5 mate and then you simply plug it into your PS5. I'm using the front USB A port on my PS5. What I did next, I got a USB-C to USB-A cable. This is just a normal USB-C phone charger. And I'm going to plug the USB-A part of this cable into the B Savior P5 mate. The USB-C part of that cable is going to be plugged into my Zim matrix. Now, I cannot show my Zim matrix on screen at the moment because the one I have is a pre-release version. So it doesn't have a nice case around it. And I'm not sure if the developers would want me to actually show what it looks like outside of the case. So I'm not going to show that here. But simply plug that USB-C cable into your Zim matrix. After that, you can connect your other devices to your Zim matrix. So for me, I normally do on the left-hand side, a USB mouse. On the right-hand side, a USB keyboard, but whatever you have. Right beside the USB-C port is where you would plug in your controller. I'm going to be using a PS5 controller. From the PS5 controller, it obviously goes out to USB-C, but then you plug into the Zim matrix using USB-A. So now we're on the Zim matrix app. So I'm using Android. I've opened it up. It should automatically connect to my Zim matrix, but if it doesn't, sometimes you have to swipe the app off screen and come back in and it, then it just starts to work perfectly fine. I already have a working config, but what you need to do is set this up as if you're setting up a PS4 game. I'm going to click on the dots in the top right hand corner of the screen. I'm going to go to new config and a game I have installed on my PS5 is Helldivers 2. So Helldivers, search for what you want. Click on Helldivers. Even though you're going to be choosing the PS5 config, you set it up like a PS4. Where it says input, you leave it as mouse and keyboard if that's what you're going to be using. But where it says output, controller is correct. But most of the time it defaults to controller in brackets PS5. However, you're going to need to swipe over to controller in brackets Xbox stroke PS4 and then click new. It's going to do its whole thing, set everything up. And that's how you set up the config to use the B loader P5 mate and the Zim matrix, even though the Zim matrix does allow you to use PS5 configs and allows you to use a network connection because we're using the B Savior P5 mate, you don't need a network connection anymore. This goes directly into the console. Just quickly showing how it's connected. So again, front USB A port goes down to my B, B Savior P5. My B Savior P5 is being powered by an extra USB C connector, which comes from here. So that USB C goes into the side of the B Savior P5. This cable here, goes all the way down to my Zim matrix. As I mentioned, this is a pre-release version. So I got this before it was fully released. The left USB cable goes to my mouse. The right USB cable goes to my keyboard. That USB cable there goes to my controller. That goes, as I mentioned, B Savior P5. So what I'm gonna do now is simply push this in if I can with one hand. That's now being powered. I'm gonna go up to my screen. And hopefully it comes on. There we go. I think that's working now. So let me try using the keyboard. Sorry about the jankiness of this. This is the only way I could do this and get it showing properly. So that's the keyboard there. As you can see, that's working fine. So once you've connected the way I've described, you should have everything working fine. But before you go ahead and start playing any games, I have a few configs on my Zim matrix. So I'm gonna be able to play, I think it was Helldivers 2. So that's how you set up your B Savior P5 using your Zim matrix, no network necessary. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.